Hi, welcome to Orchestration Minute, where we take a brief but detailed look at some of the various orchestration techniques used throughout classical repertoire so that you might be able to add them to your tool belt as a composer or orchestrator. So today we're looking at the very uniquely scored second movement of Clara Schumann's Piano Concerto. The movement is largely a cadenza, but goes on to have some chamber music-like qualities with an extended cello solo that begins some way through the movement. The only other instrument that appears in this movement is the timpani, and Schumann saves this unique but distant timbre until the very end to signal that the movement is coming to a close and to color an important moment. The timpani sort of serves as a bridge between the second and third movements. Let's hear it. What's super cool about this, and this is something that can be done with pretty much any instrument, is how the timpani kind of emerges from nothingness. In fact, on both of these chords, the first thing you hear is the piano, then you hear the cello, and then finally the timpani becomes vaguely present, only to back off immediately, which is the sort of colorization of the moment that I mentioned earlier. That's why Schumann can use this as really effective transitional material, because clearly something new is going to happen, but she's making us wait for it for a moment. Again, while this is clearly quite effective with percussion instruments, you can do this with pretty much any instrument you like to achieve various different results. Well, that's all we have time for today. Like and subscribe for more zoomed-in looks at various moments in the orchestral repertoire.